everyone, welcome to day eight of Vlogmas. Um, today is a Thursday and didn't really do much today. I just went to work and came right back. Um, so I don't know. I didn't think my vlog today was going to be interesting. I didn't want to do another car vlog because I feel like you guys might get bored of those. So I've been really wanting to talk about my retainers and do a braces update even though I don't have braces anymore. But I know a lot, a lot of my viewers are here for the braces um, stories and all that. So I just kind of want to sit down and talk to you guys about my retainers because I do have a lot to say. And kind of inform anyone that has braces and you guys are about to get retainers. Kind of inform you about a lot of things that I didn't know when I was getting my braces off. So starting off, I think everyone, at least me... Um, believes that when you're going to get retainers, it's because you're only going to wear them at night. That's what I thought when I was getting my braces off. I had even told my mom, you know, I'm getting retainers and I'm going to wear them every day for the rest of my life, only when I'm going to sleep. And my mom was like, oh, awesome. And I was like, yeah. So when I went in, they took my braces off and then I had an appointment later on um, in the afternoon to get, more, uh, to get my retainers to pick them up. And so when I went and they were explaining to me how I was going to take care of my retainers, I kind of got the news that I would have to wear an upper retainer um, every single day for an entire year. So 24 hours a day um, for an entire year. I wouldn't have to wear my bottom retainer all day because I already have a permanent retainer. Um, on the back of my bottom teeth, so that's why I only had to wear my bottom retainer when I was going to sleep. They also told me that when my retainer was on, I couldn't drink anything other than water because anything else would just stay in the retainer. That meant I couldn't drink my coffee, uh, my Coke when I had the retainer on. So it was a drastic um, lifestyle change, I will say. So first of all, I got this little... Um, holder for the retainer and they come inside um i didn't want to show you guys but i guess i'm gonna ha I, I feel like it's gross but i'm gonna show you guys anyways for the purpose of the video so i have uh two retainers right here so this is my bottom retainer it just goes um right in um and like i said this one i do wear it at night this is my upper retainer which is supposed to look like that. It's really kind of low right here. I know there's some that go up to here. Luckily, I didn't get one of those. Mine is just exactly like the other one. And I would say that it looks a little bit more stained than this one, I feel. Maybe it's just me, but I feel like it looks a little bit more. And I am not wearing it right now for the purpose of the video because I did want to show it to you guys. Um, but this one, I do have to wear it all day. Also, this one, what it's doing is, if you guys have noticed, I notice it a lot. It's something that bugs me a lot, has always kind of bugged me. Um, it's that from, um, and my upper teeth, if you look closely, this one is longer than the other one. And that's because that tooth is laying lower um, on my gums. So what the retainer is doing is pushing that teeth upwards and making it the same level. I really wanted them to follow them down, but my ortho said no, that it was only going to look weird. So we are working with the retainer right now. And also one of my tooth right are here, still switching a little bit, so it's also helping with that. Um, I have to say the first few days with the retainer were... Um, awful. Um, I didn't like them at all. They were very tight and I just, I didn't like it at all. I really didn't. Um, I felt like I was prevented from doing a lot of things. Um, I would skip meals because I didn't want to have to take it off and then, um, brush my teeth and then brush the retainer and then put everything back on. It was just a lot. So that being said, um, Every single time that you eat something, you need to take the retainer off. You need to eat whatever it is that you need, go to the bathroom, wash your teeth, wash the retainer, put it on. Every single time. Doesn't matter if you're eating a snack, doesn't matter if you're getting one 
piece of chip from like the kitchen or whatever it is you need to take it off you need to wash it uh wash the retainer wash your teeth and then put it back on so it's a lot so it has made me cut back on a lot of food because sometimes i would just like randomly get up from my bed and go get something from the kitchen now i think twice because i'm like Ugh, i have to do all that so it probably has helped my diet a lot so anyways i'm gonna put it on just so you guys can see how i do it And it goes on. Um, I do like my retainer for visual purposes. Um, it does look a little bit shiny. So people can kind of tell that I have a retainer on. Doesn't bother me. I don't care if people think that I have a retainer on. It's whatever. But it does make my, uh, my, my front teeth look more even. So that's, um, that's good for like visual purposes for like people looking at me they look even so I like that um speaking with the retainer um it took me a while to get used to it because my tongue would get stuck on the retainer and I would have trouble saying um simple words it was just really annoying so now I just take um longer speaking I think more of where I'm placing my tongue and then everything just becomes easier and you just Honestly, you just get used to it. It's how when you get braces, they're so heavy, um, and then you just get used to it. Um, so pain-wise, it's not that bad. It honestly doesn't bother me all day. Um, I did tell you guys in one of my vlogs that I've had a couple of nights where I wake up in the morning and my front tooth is in pain, but I think it's because the retainer is kicking in and it is moving that one tooth. So I think the pain comes from that, but... Other than that, um, they're not bad throughout the day. It's just more of like convenience and it's it's just annoying having to take them in and out all the time. And it's definitely like a lifestyle change because you, you know, I used to not really think about what I was drinking and stuff. And now I do because I know like, okay, if I go to Starbucks, I have to take at some point, I have to take the retainer out. Because it will stain my retainer and I don't want that. I don't want my teeth looking yellow. So, um, it's just kind of adapting to your new life, I guess. I don't know. I will say that in the morning when I do wake up, I can't wait to take them off. So, I take them off for about 15 minutes, the upper one too. And I kind of just rest, honestly, because... It's annoying, you know, having something there um, always attach, attached to your teeth. It's annoying. So I do like take them off for like 15 minutes, half my coffee, and I kind of just rest um, because I'm tired of them, um, especially in the morning. I'm not sure why. But yeah, that is kind of the update. Um, I haven't seen a huge change in my upper teeth and that one tooth actually um but i know it's gonna come i have an appointment um the first week of january i believe and so i get to go in and they get to see how my teeth are looking and making sure that there's no uh, weird movement and that everything is good so i'm looking forward to that because i always like to be reassured by my ortho that everything is great so yeah overall i am really happy i don't miss the braces at all i feel really really good i feel my, like my confidence kind of like skyrocketed um after taking them off i smile so much more often and i don't mind the retainer like i can sort of tell i have it but it doesn't worry me at all it's whatever you know so yeah that is kind of a little update on my teeth on the retainers telling you guys how life is with them um yeah, it's just about adapting and it is difficult to like go to dinner and then, you know, having to go to the bathroom and take them off. But um, it's always good to carry a little portable toothbrush and toothpaste or you can also go to Target. They sell like individual toothbrushes that are already filled with uh, toothpaste and they're kind of disposable. So you use them once and you throw it away and I think it comes with like 24 for like 5 bucks. So it's great for like dinner when you go out with friends and stuff um yeah it's just it's good or like when you're on break and you want to eat something you kind of just brush your teeth with those little disposable um toothbrushes so that's kind of what i do i might do a separate video with like tips and tricks on 
how to take care of that but um, other than that yeah that's my little update I hope you guys enjoyed this video I'm sorry it's not a vlog but like I said I had a really boring day and yeah um so I'll see you guys tomorrow on day 9th of vlogmas oh I almost forgot please don't forget to comment like and subscribe and yeah thanks for watching very beautiful, like I hate to say it, but beautiful man. Young, like probably 